Thanks for taking the time to watch the database quick start video. In this video, we will build a database from scratch and start adding records to our database. Why a database? Well, let's say I'm managing a market research project in which my team needs to interview executives from different companies about their IT spending plans. We need to track who will be interviewed, when the interview is scheduled, and its location. We need to be able to assign interviewers, and when the interview is complete, we need to update its status and track any notes from the interviewer, as well as an interview summary document or a video. Like many teams, we are spread out in different locations. Some of my team members work for another company and are contracted out to us. Since we aren't all in one place, coordinating our work and tracking results isn't easy. GroveSite's online database solution is perfect for our situation. It enables us to quickly set up a database to organize and share our data. This makes it easier for our various group members to communicate and stay in sync. Here's how to start. First, click Turn on Edit. Then click the New Page link at the top of the left-hand navigation area. To create a database from scratch, GroveSite gives you a Quick Start option right here. You'll only see this option if you have organization administrator privileges. I am going to name this database Research Interview Status. And each row is an interview. When you are finished, click Next. Here is where you can add the fields to your database. Notice that you can change the field types from the drop-down. For the status, I'm going to create a drop-down list. After selecting Add Field, you will see that the status says it's incomplete. Clicking on the link will take you to a screen to allow you to finish adding your options. Each option will be listed as its own line. When you are done, hit Save. You will now see that that status is no longer incomplete. Once you are done adding your field names, hit Next. Now GroveSite will ask me to name the page where my data will be displayed on my site. I'll set page security so anyone on my team can update information. Now the page is added. Here you can see the columns we defined. Let's try adding a record. Click Add a new interview and enter the information for the fields of your record. Then hit Add. To edit something about that row, just click the Edit button to the left. There is a lot more that you can do to fine-tune your field definitions and create custom views of your information. You may also want to add more fields at some point in time. To do this, you'll need the full database editor. It is available by clicking Org Admin, then click Manage Database, then just click Edit next to your database's name. Watch for more training videos about using the database editor to build rich database capabilities.